What's up guys, it's Joe the Pro here, back at it again with another video. Before this video starts today guys, I need you to please drop a like on it, hit subscribe, and hit the post notification bell. So this video is going to be another addition to our AMF 8230 Pin Spotter instructional series. You can find the playlists under my channel. Today what we are going to be doing is disassembling, repairing, and reassembling a toggle from the pin elevator wheel. So as you can see, this toggle is very dirty and we have a broken bearing here. So this toggle assembly is also in need of repair, but I just want to show you what a workable toggle looks like. So as you can see, you have your spring, you have your other leaf, and you have this bearing here on the outside. What this bearing is here for is to open and shut the toggle. There are actuating levers on the pinwheel frame that open the toggle with the bearing and they close it. Without that bearing, your toggle will not open or close. We are going to begin by disassembling this toggle. I've already taken it out of the housing because this one was in a machine, but once you have the toggle out of the housing, you, are, you should easily be able to remove the first leaf here and then the spring. Next, we will remove the old bearing from this assembly by removing the C-clip there. A pair of needle nose pliers is helpful for this process, so go ahead, pull the C-clip off of there. And then, once you remove your C-clip, you should be able to remove the old bearing shaft. You may need a pair of pliers to remove it if yours is broken as well. With removing the bearing now, you should be able to remove this part of the toggle. Then your U section. Now you have it apart. Following that, you also have an X, you have another pin and an X clip holding the pin support bracket. So go ahead and remove the X clip. And since these are not reusable, I am going to throw it out. Once removing the X clip, you should be able to remove the pin holding the pin support bracket in. Now that you have your toggle assembly fully disassembled, keep in mind some parts to inspect is the bracket that clamps the pin while the pin is riding on the elevator. You might want to check this rubber bumper that sits on that clamp. If needed, you can remove this and replace it by taking a T-handle and inserting it into the Allen head on the bottom and spinning it out that way. As you can see guys, this is what the bearing is supposed to look like and this is the one that came off of our toggle. Before we start reassembling this toggle assembly, what is the first step every single time we rebuild something? Always clean it. So I'm going to go to my parts cleaning tank and clean all these parts and we will resume. Now that I have finished cleaning all of my parts for this toggle assembly, we will now begin reassembling it. What you're going to start off by doing is taking your two outer brackets, intersect them so that the holes line up, set them down on a flat surface. Now take your toggle leg with your bearing and Put it right in the middle so that your bearing hole lines up with the other two holes. Now, take your bearing and insert it through all the holes. This will tie your toggle assembly together. Once you have, once you have successfully inserted your new bearing, you will see that the shaft will poke out the other end. Take your new C-clip and secure it on to the groove on the end of the shaft. Once you have done that, go ahead and set your toggle back down. 
And now we will begin installing the pin clamp. On the end of your toggle leg, you will see that there is a hole and you will see the hole towards the center of the pin clamp. Go ahead and connect the two holes and take your pin and insert it through them. This will connect your toggle leg with your pin clamp. On the end of the pin, you will see that there is another groove, which will require a new X clip to be installed. And you will secure the X clip with a pair of pliers. Keep in mind that when you have your toggle leg installed, it is a good idea to leave the lock nut loose so that way when you install the toggle on your pin elevator wheel, you are able to adjust how far the pin clamp protrudes from the pin elevator wheel. Now to wrap it up, you will install your spring on the open-ended shaft and you will take your last piece and insert it on the end of the spring. And that is the final step before installing your toggle into your toggle housing. Thank you all for watching this video. If you have any questions, please comment them down below and I'd be happy to help you answer them. If there are any videos you would like to see covered in this course, please also let me know about those. I'd be happy to cover anything extra that people are curious about. And with knowing that, please like, subscribe, and peace, and do it like a pro. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.